Okay, let's talk about Kubuntu development version versus Monjero Linux testing. So, Kubuntu development testing versus Monjero testing repos. Just a real quick explanation of Monjero Linux repos. And this is the best that I understand it. Anybody is willing, able to correct me on this, I'll be happy to listen. The way I understand it, you have three versions of Monjero of the repos. You have stable, which is what everybody basically gets. You have testing, and then you have unstable. Best way I understand it is the unstable is Arch repos testing. Monjero testing is Arch Linux repos stable. And Monjero stable is they take Arch Linux stable repos and they hold on to them for a couple of weeks to make sure nothing needs to be fixed and then they release it. So it's just everything is just held back a little bit. The difference between Kubuntu development version, this is 2004. This is being recorded March 22nd of 2020. So 2004 has not been released yet. Development testing version. What you see different is what is what's on the screen. This is a screenshot from my laptop that's still running Kubuntu 2004. I'll probably keep it, and I'll probably continue to do testing and report whatever I get. I don't do many reports for the simple fact that there's never really very much wrong with it. I've never had a showstopper in the last, oh goodness, at least the last six years. I've not had anything showstopper. A little minor thing here and there. Most of the time, by the time I get to reporting it, it's already been reported and I just back up somebody else on the report. Other than that, and, and if, if you know, if you keep up with me at all, as far as Manjaro Linux goes, I'm brand new to it. I've only had it on here for a couple of weeks. Now, the funny thing, I have, it, I have Manjaro KDE on my testing laptop i upgraded it or i I changed the the repos to testing on it before i did it on this my main computer everything went really well there's nothing nothing happened i had a minor glitch on this one and it was this uh update of hp device manager gotta do this command and try again and if it still doesn't work do this command but all I had to do was this first one. I did not have to do the second one. And I like the I like this guy's description to where he says if you're getting this, do the first one. And then after the first one, if you get this, then do the second one. I really like this Manjaro forum is actually seemed like a lot of nice people in here. There's a also a link to where if any package says file name exists this thread right here is how you fix it and I really like this too because it says here's the better way to do it here's a faster way to do it here's a I don't care get it over with do it I'm, that's awesome that's pretty cool so anyway as far as I can tell I'm I'm on Monjero testing, which means I'm actually on Arch Stable, as far as I can tell. And doing so, you can see this difference right here. Uh, KDE Plasma 5.18, 5.18.3 is the same on both of them. Frameworks 5.67, 5.68, better on Monjero. QT version 5.12.5 to 5.14.1, much better on Manjaro. And then kernel version 5.4.0.18 to 5.4.27-1, much better on Manjaro. Now, on Manjaro, it's super easy, right here, to change your kernel. You don't have this in Kubuntu without, I mean, as a default. And I didn't. I haven't changed the Monjero kernels. I'm running whatever, whatever its default for this install is. I have not changed it. But it'd be real easy. And and this 
LTS recommended, LTS recommended, experimental, probably just came out, 5.6, 5.5, five, five, it doesn't even say anything, 5.4, 26, real time, 5.4, So I can go 5.5, five, just click an install. I can try out 5.6 just by clicking install. It's pretty awesome. As far as all the other packages go, any packages that I looked at, Audacity, Kden Live, GIMP, uh, what else? OBS Server, uh, K My Money. Everything else that I looked at was exactly the same between Kubuntu 2004 development testing version compared to Manjaro Linux testing repos. Same, exactly the same across the two. Now, once Kubuntu releases, then Monjero will start getting ahead. And then you have to either get on the development version again or switch to Monjero. Now, I'll keep Kubuntu. I really like Kubuntu. It's done me well over the years. The only reason I use testing version, okay, the 95% only reason that I use development testing is so it's more like a rolling release. Now I'm actually using a rolling release. That's it. If you have any questions, comments, please tell me below. Until my next video, thanks for watching.